Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm standing on the jetty of my new home. It's called Lakeside Cabin Retreat. Show you where we are. Uh, not far from Half Moon Mill, right here. You can fast travel straight away. The home is free, but uh, it needs a key to get it. And the key you'll find on the body of the previous owner who has been sadly attacked by werewolves. And uh, it's your job to go and dispatch them, find the body, and then you'll find the key. It's super laggy around here. There are various different um, settings that you can get for this mod. I chose the highest one and just hope for the best really, but I am suffering from a little bit of lag, so I probably should have gone down a notch. There are eight different files that you can choose from, but oh my god, it's the most remarkable place. I have never seen it. I don't even know how it's on my list. I don't know whether it was somebody that recommended it to me or whether I just found it when I was browsing the Nexus, but wow, what a spot. And it's a most unusual home. <laughs> Look at this furniture, good lord. But do you know what? There are aspects of it that I absolutely love. Look how unusual this is. It's Skyrim, Jim, but not as you know it. Look at that chimney. It's proper modern. And outside is laggier than inside for me. But wow, I think it's worth it just to be able to see it in all its glory. Look at those planters. Inigo's already indoors. It's got a lot to recommend at this place. It's so different that it's the sort of thing you're either going to love it or hate it, I think. I don't know. I'm really in two minds. There are aspects of it that I absolutely adore. Not least of all, it's positioning. And the outside is really fantastic. It kind of looks... Uh, it's just too colourful for this landscape, do you know what I mean? Dead laggy. <laughs> Well, I'll quickly show you around the outside. Do you see what I mean? The rocks compared to the grass. The grass is like super green. So when you get here, you'll find a note. It's actually, there are two front doors. Look at that though. I love that bench so much. That carving, that intricate sort of lattice work is so pretty. Uh, yeah, you'll find a note on this uh, left hand front door. Oh, it's still just hanging on there and basically tells you to head to the hills to the west and if he doesn't come back then <laughs> the home is yours Look at the door knockers though so really interesting textures used and there are a few low doors oh wow as you can see decoration is not static and <laughs> it just starts flying everywhere the minute you come in the door so maddening but, oh, wow, how unique. I, the dead animal heads just do not go at all in this home. So if it was something that I was going to be keeping, then they would be deleted and I'd be much happier for it. I love that fireplace, though. There's your cooking pot. And your dining table. And these chairs are a bit weird, actually. They're too, too short. The legs are too small. <laughs> this is your view. I feel like I'm in the baby seat at the grown-up table. <laughs> it's a bit weird. But I appreciate that pale storm cloak blue. It's very pretty and I love the rugs. Everything's had a makeover and it's quite glorious. I really like it. And I don't normally go for these type of things at all. But hey, what do you know? And then as you carry on through this corridor, more bits and pieces that I feel compelled to pick up. The house knows my name. I love it when it does that. Look at these, they are so attractive. These just random wall panels. And banners I've never seen anything like before. This is an old mod, it's by um, Stanley... JF 1985 and it's a 2013 mod 
Which I think, I don't know, I just think that's remarkable, really. Inigo's not really making use of the house. He hasn't actually moved from that spot, which is kind of a shame. Look at these lanterns. Stone, aren't they fab? And I really like this, the fish tank. Not that there's any fish in it. There's a crab down there, but he's not moving. And this clock. Oh my god, that clock is fab. I'm sorry, that's Cedric sneezing in the background, in case you're wondering what that noise is. There's the other front door. Okay, so the basement's pretty fantastic. It's kind of a work and play room. You've got your crafting down here, a big bar down the end, and that lady that you can see at the very bottom, she's a follower. There are bookcases, and this wonderful sword. I don't know what else to say about that other than, wow, how the hell did they get it in here? I think they built the house around it. Those lamps I love. It's so unique. Even the mead boiler, <laughs> whatever those things are. You can tell I'm not much of a drinker. And the sconces, I love those things. They are so nice. There's kind of like candelabra. Paladin sconces they look like in EverQuest 2. Exactly like that. And there's a whole bunch of things that you can pick up and take in here. All these bookcases open and you can use them. I really like those. Enchanter. Somewhere to sit and eat and all your smithing equipment down this end too. Look at that chest of drawers affair. So nice. And there is bags of storage as well. It's so atmospherically lit in here and it's just beautiful. But these down here. So much attention to detail. Let's see if Inigo's moved at all. Oh, <laughs> such lag. Oh, not really, but a little bit. This is so gorgeous. This is called the flora area in the mod description. Oh, there's one of Mentha's beautiful bug jars. And this is so nice. What a gorgeous room. Great job with all the planting and this wonderful pool. There's some fish in it. What a zen room this is. And I just love those. Those look really modern, don't they? With the water flowing through them. Just wow. I like this so much. So much more than I thought that I was going to. When I saw the pictures on the mod description page, I just thought, oh no. I'm not going to like this, but I'll go and see it anyway. And now I'm here seeing it. I'm like, well, actually, I need to shut the hell up because it's really very nice. And the bathroom, that is a proper bath. Look at that. It's not the most elegant thing to get out of. But it's a... Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful bath. Perfect size. And I love the wall treatment. So although you do have this little ladder... Oh, can I use that to get out? <laughs> yep. Well, hush me. Hush my mouth. That is so nice. And the curtains look like they need a wash. Look at this. That door is just whoa. You see what I mean about the innovative details in here? And the shampoo. Huh. Terrific. I can't get over how classy this is. And I looked up to see if this mod author had done anything else. And apart from making a unicorn, sadly not. No other player homes. What a shame. I think these are weapon racks, but they're not activatable. Oh, 
Oh, I just hate decoration that moves. And a couple of my viewers have told me about the tidy up mod, but I'd just rather not have to do that at all, to be honest. I'd just rather have it static in the first place. With just the odd things that you can pick up. Look at these decks. You can see there's another one there. And there's another one around the other side. If I was downloading this again, I would definitely download the lower texture pack. Because my poor PC is like, what? <laughs> I'll show you the other deck on the other side. Just a second. Check that out. A barbecue. <laughs> wow. And a little music corner. These little lanterns. This one's got a tiny baby brazier in it. That's just wow. And then an enormous great outside eating area. And what a view. What a place to build. This style of house. Look at the modern looking windows. Love these pots. I have seen such amazing homes recently. And here's your room. Gorgeous big bed. All this furniture, all this detail. I don't know why there are brooms everywhere. And swords. There are so many swords that you can pick up. Look at the bed head. And with the bed knobs and everything. Oh, there are some useful bits and pieces too and another one of those gorgeous fireplaces wow so what do you think guys i think it's remarkable a really fascinating place and i'm so glad to have it because i've never seen anything else quite like it oh this is so sweet all right, I'm going to leave you with the gorgeous view of the lake and call that the end of this video. Thank you, as always, for watching. I always appreciate it, and I love to read your comments. I think this one's going to be a bit of a Marmite house. Um, let me know what you think, and I'll see you very soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.